Hello friends, here's Jesse.com and today we are going to test the 4 quad processor AMD Athlon X4 880K. AMD decided to focus on the market of hybrid processors instead of providing the concept of AM3 Plus platform. These efforts have resulted in the release of two new models with a speed of over 4 GHz and a price which is comparable to the cost of top Pentiums. The new products were named as AMD A107890K and AMD Athlon X4 880K. The first processor is a full-range APU with a powerful graphics core, while the second represents its cutoff version, where the graphics core is disabled. Well, let's see if AMD Athlon X4 880K has any chances to repeat the success of a predecessor. We have to remind you that not so long ago AMD presented new reference cooling systems, which are designed for processors with TDP of 95 and 125 watts. The boxed version of AMD Athlon X4 880K model is equipped with model near solid 125 watts AMD thermal solution. The main point that is worth your attention is that the 125W cooler is installed on the 95W processor, that is, the fan can rotate at a slower speed to provide an efficient heat removal, and you have less noise as a result. The design of the model is very similar to AMD Wraith, the same massive copper base, the same for heat pipes, even the fan has no changes, so you can count on a fine acoustic performance. This model belongs to AMD Godavari line, which is the further development of AMD Cavalry series. As a result, we have complete technical and electrical compatibility with Socket FM2+, and you have no need to change the platform. You will just have to update the BIOS firmware. The rated frequency of the new product makes 4000 MHz, while the tuba mode reaches the level of 4200 MHz. Thus, Athlon X4 880K is the fastest multi-core processor from AMD Athlon line. The important point is that with relation to the comparable TDP level of Athlon X4 860K, it was possible to obtain from 200 to 300 MHz frequency growth, depending on the load type. The processor's cache memory structure is as follows. There is nothing new here, just a full copy of Athlon X4 860K. The same point can be considered about the integrated DDR3 memory controller that supports modules with frequencies of up to 2133 MHz inclusive as well as provides dual-channel mode support. As all the representative of AMD Athlon X4 series do, the integrated graphics core is enabled. Therefore, if you consider a PC on its basis, just do not forget about purchasing a video card. We have used the following equipment for testing. The cost of the new product is about $100. Nominally, Intel Pentium J4500 is a direct competitor for Athlon X4 880K from the blue side. However, you should consider J4400 as the real opponent, as it looks like a much more balanced solution in terms of price and facilities rate, minus 200 MHz from the frequency, although having a saving of $35 as much. And thus, Athlon X4 880K is losing outright. The average difference in productivity is about 11% and 38% in games. As you can see, the larger number of cores does not provide complete recover of the unavailable R3 cache. And this is the point about the multi-threaded games. If this optimization is missing, the gap from Pentium J4400 can indecently reach 80 to 90% at all, as in the world of tanks. And AMD has a great opportunity in terms of FX4320 processor, it has the same 4 cores, it is $15 cheaper and shows the performance gain from 10% to 15% and from 30% to 40% in games. Although, you can get even the higher level. For example, you can just add $35 and get Intel Core i3-6100 or AMD FX-8300 with more than a 50% margin in performance. In other words, if you buy a system from scratch, then AMD Athlon X4 880K has no special advantages, at least in nominal operation mode. 
Sure, it is faster with its predecessor Athlon X4 860K by 8 10%, although it lacks the facilities to compete with Pentium J4400 and FX4320. Nevertheless, AMD Athlon X4 880K still has an obvious advantage. This is an excellent cooling system, of course, in terms of the standards of box coolers. The test showed that the course temperature did not exceed 57 degrees, even at a maximum load. The result can be compared to the performance of the middle-range tower coolers. Well, we failed to impress you in the nominal mode, perhaps this situation will change after the overclocking, as you have all the facilities with the unlocked multiplier and the smart cooler. As a result, we managed to get the stable operation at a frequency of 4600 MHz, which corresponds to a 15% growth as compared to the nominal rate. During the testing, the voltage was raised up to 1.585 volts. It should be noted that the supplied cooler coped easily with the additional load. A 68 degrees level is a very good result for such an operation, although the fan rotated almost at the maximum speed. Accordingly, after the CPU's overclocking, you should accept an increase in noise, which will significantly stand out from the other components of the system. The average canyon speed made almost 11%. The rate is fine, although is not the record one. It was possible to squeeze a 15% performance from the very Athlon X4 860K. The experienced overclockers didn't show any interest in the new product so far. There are only three results and the one of them is ours, and the upper limit of 4700 MHz looks ridiculous against 660 MHz, which Athlon X4 860K was able to conquer once. No wonder there was no miracle with the release of AMD Athlon X4 880K. Now we can say for sure that AMD needs a completely new microarchitecture to complete the competition and maybe even a new concept. The observed processor is a good example of the point that smart nominal specifications do not promote high performance. There's no reason to have 4 cores and 4000 MHz of frequency if you have a head 2 cores at a speed of 3300 MHz with a margin from 30 to 40%. It would be fair enough if this Athlon was cheaper, but this won't do as it costs about $100. And this is well, despite the fact that the faster Pentium J4400 and FX8320 had the price of $65 and $85 respectively. As a result, it makes a reason to buy Athlon X4 880K if your computer is based on Socket FM2 Plus platform and you have to make an upgrade at a minimal cost. Otherwise, you'd better scratch up a little bit of money and move to another platform or to wait AMD then release at least. Best regards to you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.